What's up, man? 25 gamers, welcome to today's video, guys. And today we're talking about a scheme I'm very fond of. Uh, four three under, we're back in it. Um, got a new twist on it and some new things I'm doing, and I'm really excited about it. But today we're going to give you the base play setup. Um, we're going to try to go through these a little bit quicker now, and try to make it a little bit more basic and easier to grasp. So we're going to be a little bit more simpler, but I think that it will actually make it a little bit better in the long run. So the base play today comes out of the um, this is this is the play that we come out in every single time, every single rip. It's the under Sam Shark three, okay. And what we want to do here, and we'll back the ball up just to give you a little bit more pers better perspective. But I mean, it's, the blitz and setup doesn't change. Um, but basically, what we want to do with this play is we want to base a line, uh, pinch our defensive line, spread our linebackers, crash our defensive line down. Those three uh, or four setups right there are going to occur on every single play that we run from the 4-3 under. Every blitz that we set up, it's all the those four steps are the same. So get those down to muscle memory because those are essential for our defense. We're then going to simply take Fletcher Cox and place him in any zone, any man assignment we want. We can put him in a curl flat. We can man him up on a slot. We can do whatever we want. From that point, I typically, and you don't have to do this for the pressure to work, I typically place Patrick Chung in a flat zone because it play, I feel like flat zones this year from the safety position play like out routes and things like that really well. But you don't have to do that. You can leave him on the route that he's on. And here you'll see we're going to get some uh, some pressure. Uh, that time I actually got some A-gap pressure. And we're going to talk a lot more about that A-gap pressure uh, when we get into the man and zone blitzes. But... It is uh, the same basic principle, and we're, typically we'll get it off the edge. Uh, or I mean through the B-gap. Here you see in that time we got it through the B-gap pressure. Uh, we got a little bottled up there for whatever reason. I think it's because I snapped it too quick. But anywho. So real quick, again, you want to base a line. You want to pinch your defensive line. You want to crash your defensive line down. You want to take this defensive end that was blitzing and now put him back into a curl flat zone. And then I personally like to get over on the safety here, Chung place him into a flat zone and I like to user control either the hook zone or I'll sometimes if I'm feeling real ballsy I'll user control Allen but here I'm going to user control Cole and you'll see we should get that right B gap pressure and there you see it right off that right edge there okay so that's what we're looking to do with our base play it's actually really decent against the run as well tomorrow we're going to be going over a more in-depth run defensive tutorial and I uh, hope you guys can't wait for that but we'll talk to you guys soon thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow